first of all, thank you so much for having me. It's, it's been a treat. Uh, I found UK like really, really great to come. I've been to two places so far, and it's been amazing. So I'm really ha happy to discover this. And as far as the work, I always been trained as a just a glass blower since I was a kid, and that was my. You know, the glass blowing itself is more of a like to be a technician or electrician or something in Czech Republic. And there was there's no really people who make who blows glass and then they, and they um, make art. You know, there's always designers and glass blowers or artists and glass blowers and designers makes makes the idea and glass people makes the brings the piece to life. You know, and that's how I was trained to do. And but I always wanted to. For some reason, make my own stuff, and I w let's not call it art or anything. I just wanted to make things, you know. And so I just um, every time I had t like breaks or time, and, you know, I practice and make small things, and and eventually I I just uh, when I finished school, I worked in a couple of factories. When after they broke a uh, break uh, uh, bankrupt, I'm. Um, I really must start traveling and learning from other people and and then I stopped doing that and just start making my own work. So how old were you when you started making your own work? Uh, I was pretty much 25, 25, 26. Like I started like making you know things I would call it my work and still it wasn't meant to be like any you know art or just Things that would print, just show, and you know, I wasn't. I, I don't have a big picture to be a big artist or anything. I still don't. But I started making hats, and I picked like five things would make the hat looks like a hat. You know, chin, nose, you know, eyebrows and ears and whatever and mouth. And I just focused on that. Just made simple shape, and you know, made a nice chin. Nice nose, and it wasn't much depth in the piece or expression. It was really blank, you know. But so, I, more I learned these steps, you know, doing it over and over again. I pretty much filled the gaps between the steps to add more, you know. What, so I started to think what's bet between the cheek and the chin, you know, and I pretty much filled that spot, you know, and that's what happened in the rest of the. Had pretty much, you know. So now I have it's it's like a you know snowball. You just make these five things, which you, know, you you make the piece out of that, and then you now I add like 30 things between those five each step, you know, and then it's, it's from three hours is into six seven hours to make it, you know. And then so. that six or seven hours that you spend on one piece straight through, or do you? Take yeah, usually when I make. Like the just the face and you know the hat, I I have to do that like once. I used to be um, I used to look, like go to circuses and go to theaters when I was like 13, 14. I, I bought a ticket. So it was I lived like 30 minutes from Prague, so I just went to Prague, bought a bunch of tickets. I don't even for, for what, but I just bought a ticket to National Theater and like it was really cheap. It was like two. Two dollars to to be in national theater. It was like standing, right? But also, I was really um, uh, I admired this um, painter František Tichý, this Czech guy. He lived like in 1880, uh, 1896 to 1961, and so I was really into these like clowns. He drew this really sad stuff, you know, and. And so I was like, it was a good theme for me. So, you know, it's always easier to make some kind of theme in the beginning. So you always hide behind the theme, and and I stopped making those. So I just, I just, it was a lot of colors before and all that. So I just like, okay, I just gotta. And it also, I become really like um, successful as far as like commercially. You know, and they start selling out the shows with that stuff. And I was like, okay, this is time to stop. You know, because it was. When people ask you like, can you make me, can you make me this one again, but orange, you know? I was like, no, I have only black one if you want, but yeah. So I stopped making it, and they, they just took like three shades of gray and just make just simple bodies, you know, and just 
really start focusing on the expression and didn't have any theme or anything so I just kept I keep doing that since you know for the last six years because it's, it's just it evolves and evolves all the time and it doesn't stop so I'm not planning on quitting on that. Um, I have a lot of a lot of people I work with I really admired and they not necessarily there's there's also sculptors but there's a lot of people who are um, the painters and you know it's just I studied their life and it's really like it's inspiring for me so as far as class it's um, here in Willenbring she, she taught me a lot you know as far as colors and she really works really specific way and she's incredible and Bill Morris I got to work for him through Karen and with the rest of the crew and you know and there's a couple of Czech guys, Karel Kromholtz, who's my first master, and then Martin Stefanik. So about and Peter Novotny. So these five people, they were just they're like my glass dads and moms, you know. <laughs> they made me.